You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to Adorama TV iPad App Reviews. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, many of you know of Corbis for Corbis Images and all of the stock agencies that they have. Corbis Motion and Veer and Greenlight, all those places that contributors can send information and photos and motion to be redistributed through different stock agencies. They're really the Mac Daddy of all stock. Well, one of the things they announced recently is the Corbis Contributor Gateway. So anyone that is a Corbis contributor, either through motion or stills, has a new interface to get all of their photos or motion online for approval and resale. Well, one of the nice things is they also just announced an iPad app to help contributors make sure that they have all the legal documentation that Corbis requires, and it's on the iPad app called Corbis Contributor Gateway. So let's take a closer look at the Corbis Contributor Gateway for iPad. The Corbis Contributor Gateway app is great if you're a member of the Corbis Contributor community or not. So let's first start by looking at our settings here. Now this is something you need to set up if you're going to be using the model or property releases, which is sort of the heart and soul of this app. And so you will want to do this. So you need to enter your name and then also sign. And so you actually tap that and then you can sign your name on here. So I'll just write something really fast. So there it is. There's a signature for us and I'll accept that and now that is in as my signature you can put in your email address and then if you actually have a, con a contributor gateway login you'd want to put that here so then you can use all of the functionality of the application so we're going to go back here once we have that set up let's look at these property and model releases their shoots and the releases because that is really what the app is built around so first, let's look at models and properties. This is a place that you can have a database of all the models and the places that you're shooting. And as you add these, they will just add to the database. So uh, we've created a fake model here. Her name is Brenda Model. And if we go in here, you can see that all of her information has already been entered. So it's easy to add her to a model release or any type of shoot in the future. Now I'm gonna go back and add a property. So I'm gonna say here's a property release and I'm gonna create a new property. And so the new property is going to be called test property. I'm using a wireless keyboard here and I need to add all this other information here. So the location, we'll just add some fake information here. So this is just one, two, three street and the city is gonna be, uh, we'll say it's Dodge cause we need to get out of Dodge. And the state is New York and the zip code is, I don't know, 54321, something like that. Then we need to save that and there it is. There is our location. We can add a representation. So this is going to be uh, Wild Bill is our representation for Dodge. And the company is going to be called uh, the Wild West Show. And the title, you know, we can add whatever it is. So uh, Mr. Bill. I'm just making stuff up, obviously. So we have all this stuff in here. We have the location. We can add an address. Maybe the corporate address is different than the actual location. We could enter that. So I'll also add in a phone number here. So adding in again some fake information so you can not call this up and then this is the the email at email.com so now we have all of our information for this property we know who to talk to we know where it is and if needed we have a corporate address so we'll save that and now we have a property and a model and we can also go in later and add an actual photo of that property so let's talk about shoots here. So I'll uh, click on that and you can see that we can add shoots here just like we can model and property releases. So I'll add a new shoot. And so we'll just uh, add a title here and we're only gonna call this a uh, uh, Mr. Bill headshot shoot. Again, I'm making stuff up. And the description is, uh, this is a test. Here's when we're doing that. I can click save. And now we have that in there and I could add many of those in and I can sort of pre-populate this or I can add them on the fly. So I'm going to go back to the home. Now we have a shoot, we have a model and we have a property. So now what I can do is let's say we're actually at the shoot and I need to get Wild Bill to actually sign his model release. Well, I can go into releases here and I need to create a new release. Now this is totally incomplete, obviously, because we need to add where we're shooting and who we're shooting. So I'm going to add a shoot. There it is, our Mr. Bill headshot shoot. So we have all that information already in there. And I'm going to go in here and add a model, a property. So we're going to say we're shooting Brenda at this location. And uh, so we have that in there. It's really nice. Or we could have said we're shooting a property, either one. So we have that in there. Now, if I need to, 
I can edit the release. So I can click that and I can edit any of the stuff that is in there. Well, I don't need to edit that because I just put it in there. I can also review a PDF. So you can see all the information is in there, except we don't have anybody, uh, nobody has signed this release. So I'll go back here and I will say sign. So that's for Brenda to actually sign this release. So I'll click sign here. Now here's the model release and I can say I agree to the terms and then the model can actually sign this. Hopefully she's got a better signature than that. She'll say accept and there we go. Now we have a signed model release and then I can go over here and now I can upload it to Corbis if I have a login. I can email this or I can upload and email. So this really makes it easy if you're shooting for Corbis to upload your releases and get all your legal documentation in very quickly so that you don't miss out on any opportunities to make sure that your photos are approved. You can also go back here and review the PDF to see, yes, this is signed and everything is exactly as it needs to be. And the nice thing is Corbis provides these releases so you know they're always compatible with what Corbis expects. Now, if you need to know more information about Corbis or some things that you're shooting, well, there's the knowledge base. So when you open this, this is going to actually go out to the Corbis website and bring up all of the stuff that's at the contributor gateway. And so there are all kinds of FAQs, newsletters, showcases, highlights, there's different reels. There's all the stuff that you would normally find on the website, but here it is right in your iPad app. Or if you want to, you can also go to the Corbis blog. And so you can see what's going on as far as what you need to be shooting or what other people are shooting. Well, there you have it, the Corbis Contributor Gateway for the iPad. Well, thanks for joining me this week. Remember, if you have an iPad app that you'd like me to review, you can send your suggestion to askmark at adorama.com. Thanks again, and I'll see you again soon. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.